Welcome to the channel, my name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Heroes Reborn, the sequel. It actually has nothing to do with the original Heroes Reborn. And it's actually a pretty interesting story written by Jason Aaron. Obviously it ties into Jason Aaron's run on the Avengers. And the main characters of the story are Jason Aaron's iteration of the Squadron Supreme. We have this new reality where the Avengers never existed and the Squadron Supreme have become the Squadron Supreme of America. Phil Coulson has become the President of the United States and all we know is that there has been some shenanigans going down with Mephisto, he's the one behind this. We sort of have this classic trope when we have rewritten realities where only one character really remembers how things really were. In the case of the House of M, we had Layla Miller. In the Age of Apocalypse, we had Bishop. And in this case, we have Blade. He's the only one that remembers that the Avengers existed in the first place. He's going all around the planet searching for the Avengers, but none of them remember that they were Avengers or even that they were heroes in the first place. While this story transpires, we have each of the members of the Squadron Supreme fighting against these amalgamations of classic Marvel villains and some of them are really cool like this fusion between Doctor Doom and Juggernaut. He is battling Hyperion and the really cool thing is as the battle transpires, as the battle goes on, Doctor Juggernaut has Sidorak rock formations grow out of him. Much like the bone grows out of Doomsday when he's fighting against Superman. Then we have Nighthawk battling against Black Skull, and the thing is, he's very similar to the one on the Multiversal Masters of Evil. I'm not sure if he's the same character. Then we have Dr. Spectrum battle against Thanos, that this version of the Mad Titan has five rings. And each one of these rings, I feel like are reminiscent to each one of the Lantern Corps from the Green Lantern series. Then we get Power Princess fighting against Algog. And last but not least, the character who I thought was called Wizard or Speed Demon actually is called Blur in this iteration. So every time I see this character, I just imagine Song 2 blaring in the background. And this character is fighting a fusion between Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, and it's a really interesting concept. Which was already done during Rick Remender's Uncanny Avengers run, but less said about that the better because this version is actually cooler. So mainly what happens is we have the Squadron Supreme of America battling against all these villains. When Blade, after trying to reawaken all the Avengers, he fails miserably. He confronts Nighthawk and tells him, look, you're one of the smartest people on the planet. You know there's something wrong in this reality. He pretty much sows some seeds of doubt within Nighthawk's mind. Now the story itself pretty much ends there. The cool thing is that each one of the members of the Squadron Supreme is going to get their own one shot. And to my surprise, each one of these stories is really solid, they're really fun to read. We're going to dive into each one in future videos. This particular story ends with a cliffhanger because Blade was able to find Captain America, he's still frozen in the Arctic. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.